Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm Braden, and in today's video, we are talking about the Draco CVDs. This is an update video. Um, I will talk about the differences between the previous version and this version. Uh, I will talk about the center CVDs, and I will also talk about the issues I've been having and why you haven't seen many updates about this. So, uh, let me move the camera closer to the parts and we will get into the details of these prototypes. Okay, so let's take a look at the Draco CVDs. So, these are the version 2, these are the version 1 front and rear CVDs, and these are version 1 center CVDs. So, these are the 5SC center CVDs, but I also made uh, our Savage Flux HP and Savage Flux XL length center CVDs. Um, I will be testing them too. Okay, so first let's talk about the differences between version 1 and version 2. So in version 1, uh, the, as you can see, the uh, axle made contact with the shaft here. So in version 2, I revised that part by making it shorter. Yeah, um, and another difference is the, um, let's see, the hole size of the pin, 2.5 millimeters, and I went to 3 millimeters in version 2. So, uh, after looking at uh, some racing truggies or racing buggies, they all have a 3 millimeter pin here for the hex, so I decided to upgrade. Plus, uh, with the previous version, the pins were always bending, so it was 2.5 by 17 millimeter pins and 2.5 by 24 millimeter pins. So yeah, just too long for the diameter. Uh, so I've upgraded, and the pins are readily available. You can buy like packs of a hundred for like three or four dollars. So yeah, Re um, off the shelf part, much easier to find. Same with the 17 millimeter length pins here. Okay, uh, another difference is uh, this was a M4 thread for to capture the pin, but as you can see, there are there's a lot of mater extra material there, so I went up to an M5. Once again, the M5 thread is common in the racing truckies and buggies. Yeah. Um, and the diameter of the shaft, um, this is seven millimeters, and this, I went down to six. So I saved about 10 grams alone just from that change. All right, so there are the main differences between the two. Now, let's talk about the issues I've been having with the version two. So basically there were quite a lot of errors in the manufacturing process and things are not perpendicular or straight and off-center and so on. So I couldn't assemble them when they arrived. So um, first problem was the slot in here. Um, so this part, uh, basically when they drilled it, they had sort of drilled it not straight. So it was like this in some of them. And each one had a different amount of of angle, so it was quite bad. And also the when they drilled it this way, it had turned a little bit, so it wasn't straight. So I I couldn't get that three millimeter pin through, and I had to grind a lot of the slot so the pin could fit through and it would be free. So quite a big issue. And this hole here for the joint coupler. Same problem, it was off center, and when they drilled it, it, it was kind of like this. Uh, only a 0.1 millimeter or something small like that. Another issue was uh, the pin. So where the pin goes, you can see there's a slight angle, so it had been drilled this way. Yeah, big one. And then the thread uh, has it stops around here, so I cannot capture the pin. It needed to be about two or three millimeters longer. Yeah. So 
a lot of problems and I couldn't assemble them, including the center CVDs. Um, I couldn't assemble them and I had to grind a lot of the slots on all shafts to get the pin through. And then the joint coupler, I had to, uh, this part here and inside, I had to sort of uh, take a little, little bit of material off the surface so it would fit in correctly and free and move freely yeah but uh another issue i had was totally on me um, it was the pin so i chose 304 stainless um, i'm not sure why i went with this yeah it's way too weak so um they wore out within two two packs um yeah in the 5sc uh so what i did is um I ordered some new pins made of bearing steel, so just here in the bags, and then I uh, assemb uh, installed them myself. So I also made my own tool um, to install the pins in the larger diameter balls. Um, I have a Mugen uh, pin tool, so I'm using the parts from that, but I just made a, a different, a different uh, attachment. But due to the angle of the pin, it was a little difficult and I was bending some of the pins to try and get them in. Yeah, so I'm having issues with the interference fit. So the manufacturer, what they do is they make a pin and then they have a larger diameter in the center. So this will be captured in the hole. But the hole is larger than three millimeters so stock pins that are three millimeters will not fit because they'll just fall out so i really want to get this more precise um, basically the pin is 2.99 millimeters in diameter so the hole needs to be three or 3.01 millimeters so quite accurate so that there's an interference fit between the pin and the hole or, or the shaft yeah, so another option is adding a thread here and then a set screw and then making pins with the flat surface so um, it can be captured. And then I can just make a bunch of pins and supply them as spears when you purchase it. So I'm considering these options. Um, I think it would be much easier to add a uh, thread here an m4 thread with a set screw and it's just make heaps of pins and make them readily available so that's what i'm considering um okay so that is the front and the rear cvds so next are the center cvds so uh i had problems the same problems of course with the slots from manufacturing and the pin hole over here was not straight some of the shafts were warped so they were they were kind of bent so i found the straightest ones i could and used those now the cup joint um this one was on me as well um so just imagine a cross section for a moment so the ball of the shaft is sitting in there and the profile inside closely matched this ball so a 12 millimeter diameter but in the drawings I didn't specify how long this section was inside or the radius of of the that area inside so when I went to assemble it and tried to put the pin through it wouldn't go through because the ball was making contact with the inside of the cup joint so I had to grind that out as well so I've, also, I've actually made changes already in CAD and I've just removed a lot of the material inside and uh, now there's a lot more space for the ball to move so it won't happen again. But other than that, it's pretty close to what I, what I requested. Yeah. Um, it, it just matches the same specs as the stock cup joint. So you have the M5 thread here with a little uh, 3.5 hole here for the pin to go through, or this the uh, screw shaft to go through. Yeah, 
Um, these balls are all identical, so um, the idea is to make them all the same. They could be interchangeable, technically. Um, yeah, but furthermore, I I've decided to put the center CVDs on hold. Um, I just feel there's not much of a demand for them, and of course, the cost of producing all of these as a production run would be too high for me to handle. So I've decided just to come back and focus only on the front and rear CVDs with the hexes, the uh, 17 and 24 millimeter hexes. Yeah. And that way I can, I can add extra pens and things like that. So this Friday, if the weather's good and nothing comes up, I will be continuing to test these, these uh, parts as well as the Draco diff case version 2 or 2023 uh, so I'll reinstall them and go out again so so far they have two packs on them but I'm hoping to do three or four packs this Friday and see if they last so um, and I'm hoping to do a version 3 of these with all the revisions um, uh, I will make this thread here shorter it will start lower inside the shaft here um, I will reduce the radius of this area here so it doesn't make contact um, I will add a thread here with an M4 set screw and then I will make custom pins with a flap section and the pin will be captured uh, that's my plan right now I will keep the same diameter here and I might reduce this a little here so it doesn't make contact uh, but other than that it's close to where I want it to be yeah. okay um, so uh, that is the end of the video um, I hope you enjoyed the update and um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and I will leave a link in the description to my Draco CVD overview video uh, if you'd like to check that out. But thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.